After you defeat system daemons, you will gain access to the earthen biomes, also known as the Earthwing. The portal to Earthwing is guarded by optimized memory probe ED1. Each wing has its own zone-wide mechanic. For Earthwing, it is the flower-shaped telegraph that follows a random player in the raid for 3 seconds before being dropped in place. The telegraph will then complete in 3 seconds, dropping a rock down from the sky, dealing moderate raid-wide damage. To avoid the damage, the raid must jump as the rock hits the ground. There are also fissures around the map that open up and spawn waves of two small rock adds until they are closed. To close the fissures, drop the flower-shaped telegraphs on top of them, Closing three fissures in a row within one minute of the previous one will complete a challenge, granting two bonus loots. I will not be going over the trash in this video, but I highly recommend using a stalker scientist to skip the trash mobs, as this wing has in my opinion the most annoying trash. The first mini boss you will encounter is the bio-enhanced broodmother to the right hand side of the portal. The raid should bring cleanse, interrupts, and raid-wide mitigation abilities for this fight. Broodmother attacks in a frontal cleave, so don't stand with the tanks. Though I'm not 100% certain, I believe her auto attacks will place a stacking debuff on the tanks, so occasional tank swaps will be necessary. Broodmother has two abilities. First is Toxic Spew, a 2 second uninterruptible cast that puts a dot on the 4 furthest player away from her. The dot will drop a small circular telegraph on the ground every second until the debuff is cleansed. Have range classes with cleanse stand in range while the rest stack behind the boss for the spew. Second, Broodmother will cast Augmented Bioweb approximately every 45 seconds. A 3 second uninterruptible cast that places random players inside biowave cocoons. Each cocoon has 1 interrupt armor and can be broken by interrupting its 10 second cast. Interrupting the cast will deal a moderate amount of AoE raid damage and spawn a spider lane. The raid should be lightly spread during the augmented bioweb cast so the cocoons are not stacked together. Break the cocoons out one by one to avoid massive raid wide damage while having the tanks pick up the spider lanes for cleave. The first augmented bioweb cast will cocoon 3 players, and each subsequent cast will cocoon 1 additional player. The second mini boss is the fully optimized Canamid. It likewise attacks in a frontal cleave called Feral Slash, which puts a stacking debuff on the tanks that require constant tank swaps. Canamid has three other abilities. First is Fissure, a 1.5 second cast that causes Canamid to smash down on the ground in an X shaped telegraph, dealing damage and knocking down those caught inside. Approximately every 30 seconds, Canamid will cast Undermine which causes it to burrow below the ground and resurface on a random raid member, dealing massive damage to those inside the telegraph. The damage is shared by all those inside, so the raid should form groups of 4 players to soak the damage. Once a player has been hit by Undermine, he or she won't be targeted again, but will die if caught inside another Undermine telegraph. Canamid will target 5 players with Undermine every cast. At approximately 80%, Canamid will begin casting Terraform, a 20 second interruptible cast that grants itself a 2.1 million absorption shield. To interrupt the cast, the ray must break through the shield. If the shield is not broken in the 20 seconds, the ray will wipe. Breaking through the shield places Canamid into a 10 second moment of opportunity. At the end of the moment of opportunity, Canamid will again cast Undermine.
Approximately 40%, Kanemit will once again cast Terraform, followed by Undermine after the moment of opportunity. Kanemit will cycle through Feral Slash, Fissure, and Undermine until it's dead, though I believe it is possible to get a third Terraform if the raid is too slow in killing him. The final mini boss of Earthwing is Logic Guided Rock Slide. Rock Slide is hacks in a large frontal cleave, so stay away from the tanks. It will first cast Heavy Rain, a 3 second channel that causes Rock Slide to jump to a circular telegram, pulse outwards, and drop rocks around it, dealing damage and knocking down those caught inside. Heavy Rain is followed by Seismic Shock, a 5 second interruptible cast that deals massive damage in a huge circle around Rock Slide. Rock Slide has 25 interrupt armors and this cast must be interrupted. Next is Maelstrom, a 2.5 second cast that causes Rock Slide to gain a 3 million HP absorption shield, spin, a deal massive damage in a huge circle around him with a donut shaped save zone. Rock Slide will choose a random player in the raid and move in that direction with Maelstrom. The targets occasionally switch during Maelstrom and are announced in the Datacron channel. To stop Maelstrom, the raid must break through the shield. Note that healing reduction abilities can be casted on Rock Slide before Maelstrom cast is completed to reduce the absorption shield on him. Also, normally Rock Slide is supposed to get a debuff called Desync, which makes it move really slow with Maelstrom, so that the Ray can just backpedal while breaking the shield. However, sometimes the encounter bugs out and Rock Slide won't get Desync. This causes it to move at 3 to 4 times the speed. If that happens, the Ray needs to drop mitigation abilities while having the person targeted stand still in Maelstrom and let healers keep him up for as long as possible. The rest of the race should stand in the safe zone. If the targeted player dies, have the next player do the same thing until the shield is broken. After the first Maelstrom, Rock Slide can cast another set of Heavy Rain and Seismic Shock depending on your raid DPS, or it can go straight into another Maelstrom. Rock Slide should die soon after the second Maelstrom. 
After Rockslide is dead, bail out and use the teleporter to teleport to earthen biomes, so you don't have to clear additional trash. The teleport will take you right next to the exit portal leading to Gloomclaw. And that's it for the earthen biomes. Stay tuned for more datascape guides.